It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Daryl, and his favorite person is Pedro Pascal. Our second player is Taylor, and his favorite place is Okinawa, Japan. And our third player is Lauren, and her favorite thing is her skateboard. And now she trademarked yes and no, so we had to hire her. It's Melissa Peterman. Ah, uh, Jamie, and I'm this close to getting maybe. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where players need to ask me the right questions to get to the right answers. And I am looking at three fantastic players here today who are going to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. <laughs> back for a fourth consecutive day. It's our returning champion, Daryl, who's won $5,000 in cash and a hotel stay in the Sonoran Desert. And I know he's looking to make it back to that final round to add another $5,000 to his winnings. But Lauren and Taylor are here, and I think they're looking to start a winning streak of their own. Let's get started. In our first round, we're going to play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions and I'll be giving you clues. Let's get started. Hey, Daryl. Hey. Welcome back. Thank you. So third day really was the charm for you. Yeah, I mean, it, it was true. Well, I'm so happy you got $5,000, you got a fantastic trip and you've just been so much fun to play. I mean, well, let's see you. what happens today. Let's, let's get see. started. All right, we're gonna kick this off with our thing category. Mm -hmm. And I can let you all know that this thing's a book. Okay, it's a book. Has this book, was it written in the 19th century? No, it was not. Hi there, Lauren. Hello. How are you? Welcome to Person, Place, Your Thing. Thank you. So your favorite thing, it's your skateboard? Yes. Do you, do? are you an avid skateboarder? Um, I don't do any tricks or anything, but me and my dad, we skateboard a lot together. He's 50, he still skates, so. Oh my gosh. Shout out to my dad. Yeah, yeah shout out. <laughs> I'm as old as your dad. <laughs> I can't skateboard. Um, <laughs> that's very, very cool. I love that. Okay, well, we're talking about a book uh, okay. was not written in the 19th century. Is this book a part of a series? Yes, okay. it is. It is. Hi, Taylor. Hello. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you. I have to say, I admire, I'm loving the mustache, the facial hair. You're rocking it. Well, the stash abides, just like the dude abides. The stash abides. So you, this is something that you've had for with you for quite some time. Let's just say that my dad and his dad before him all had pretty thick mustaches. Pretty thick mustaches. <laughs> well, if this game goes on for a little bit longer, mine will start coming in. Um, <laughs> all right, so we have a book, uh, not written in the 19th century, but part of a series. Is it fiction? Yes, it is. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. You buzz in, you got it right, you got 100 points. If you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. These dystopian tales inspired some readers to take up archery. Daryl? Is it the Hunger Games? Yes, the odds are ever in your favor today, Daryl. 100 points to you, yes. Okay, Lauren, you're gonna kick off this next category in our first round, and we're gonna be playing our person category. And I can tell you that this person, well, it's a band. Okay. Is this a rock band? Yes, okay. I'd say it's rock band. Mm. Taylor. Is this an 80s rock band? Do you mean, were they the most popular in the 80s? Have they been around since were the 80s? Were they most like, popular more in the 80s? Were they the most popular mm -hmm. in the 80s? I would say no. Okay. They weren't the most popular okay. in the 80s. Daryl. Has this band released an album within the last 15 years? Yes. They have. Time for a clue, buzzers out. They came together as teenagers in Dublin, Ireland. Daryl? Is it you two? Yes, it is you two. Love, love, love you two. Well done, 200 points to you. Taylor, your turn to start off this category. And this is our place category. Okay. And I'm gonna let you know that this place is a US city. All right, is it? Closer to the West Coast? Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Daryl. Does this city have a professional major league sports team? Yes. Lauren. Um, does this city, is this city known for food? Any of their foods? Like maybe a food destination right. city, sort of? Yeah. Uh, I'd say no, maybe okay. not Maybe not typically known for that. Okay. 
Time for a clue. Buzzer's out. Huey Newton co-founded the Black Panthers here in 1966. Lauren? Oakland. Boom, it is Oakland, California. Well done, 100 points to you. We got ourselves a great game, everybody. Daryl is in the lead with 200 points. Lauren right behind at 100. Taylor not on the board yet, but there's more great questions and even greater clues when we come back on Person, Place, or Thing. If you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan, use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen and you're not only going to meet today's super fan, Jonna, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. I sent my watch by her five o'clock shadow. It's Melissa Peterman. Ah, oh, 322, right on schedule. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. We have a great game here. Daryl's in the lead with 200 points. Lauren right behind with 100. Taylor not on the board yet, but it's time for round two. We're going to play round two the same as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to pick the category that we're going to play. Taylor, since you're behind, I'm going to let you choose. What category would you like to play, Taylor? Person, place, or thing? Well, Melissa, it's going to be a place. A place. Okay. I can tell you this place is islands. Is it in the Western Hemisphere? You know, <laughs> yes, it is in the Western yes. Hemisphere. Do you hear that, yes. Daryl? I love I can that. Think too. I know. He likes that Eastern <laughs> Hemisphere there. Daryl, it's in the Western Hemisphere. Are these islands their own country? No, they are not. Lauren. Is this island barely close to um, the West Coast of the United States? No. Okay. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Remember, this round is worth 200 points. This place is made up of about 1,700 tropical islands. Daryl? Micronesia? No. Even though you said it with zero confidence. <laughs> Micronesia? <laughs> no, it is not Micronesia, which means you are out until I give another clue. Taylor, back to you. Well, is is it uh, in the Caribbean? No. Okay. And Daryl, I do have to skip you. So Lauren, is it the Bahamas? It is not okay. the Bahamas. Time for a clue. It is home to the renowned Seven Mile Bridge. Taylor, back to you. All right. Is it in the Southern Hemisphere? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. Daryl. Is, are these islands in the Pacific Ocean? No. Lauren. Mm. Oh, you had a Twitter your thinking face for that one. I like it. <laughs> Is this island or these islands on near the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. Okay. Time for another clue, your third and final clue of this round. The third largest coral reef in the world can be found here. Time is up, nobody got that. We were looking for the Florida Keys. Oh. The Florida Keys. Seven Mile Bridge, okay. Seven Mile Bridge. That makes sense now. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, no points for anybody on that round. And Daryl, it is your turn to pick what category. What would you like to play? Let's do place. Place, okay. This place is a U.S. city. Is, is it in? Is, <laughs> I mean, after how many days together, I know what he's going to ask. He's going to ask, is it in the Eastern Hemisphere? Or no, maybe not. <laughs> kind of like that. Is it east of the Mississippi River? No, it is not east of the Mississippi River. Lauren. Is this a coastal state? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Taylor. Is it in the Southwest? No. It is not. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. It is the capital of a U.S. state, but is inaccessible by road. Taylor. What is Portland? Oh. Portland, no, it is not. That means you are out until I give another clue. Daryl, did that clue help you out? Uh, is it Juno? Yes! Oh, yes! yes. It is 
is Juno. Okay, well done, 200 points to you. And Lauren, last but not least, you get to pick the final category of this round. What would you like to play? Um, let's do Thing. Thing, you yes. got it. This thing is a movie. Okay. A movie. Is this an action movie? No. Okay. Not considered an action movie. Taylor. Is this movie after the 1970s? Is it after the 1970s? Yes. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Thank you. Daryl? Uh, is this movie a comedy? No, it is not. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This movie featured the first African-American person to win an Oscar. Daryl? Look who's coming to dinner. No, that is incorrect. That means you are out until I give another clue. Okay, Lauren. Does this movie have any awards? Well, yes, it does. Oh, yep. yes, I <laughs> That's okay. No, it's good. It's all good. Taylor. Um, was this um, African-American person the lead in this film? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Thank you. It's time for a clue, so get those buzzers out. It's adapted from a Margaret Mitchell novel. Okay, Lauren. Was this movie based off of a book? Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Taylor. Was this movie a, a drama? Yeah. Okay. A drama. Okay. Daryl. Did this movie win Best Picture? Yeah. It did win Best Picture. Time for your third and final clue. Its lead characters are Rhett Butler and Scarlett O'Hara. Daryl. To Kill a Mockingbird. No. Oh, wait. No. no! I know it now. I know what it is. Oh. I know what it no, is. No, no, no. Gone okay. with the Wind. You were looking for Gone with the Wind. So none, have you not seen Gone with the Wind? <laughs> oh, I haven't. No. You haven't? And oh, that was Hattie looks... McDaniel who won the Oscar. She was the first African-American person to win Oscar. She was for Best Supporting for best supporting Actress. Your homework tonight, go watch <laughs> Gone with okay. the Wind. Yes. All right, fantastic round, everybody. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We got a great game. Daryl is in the lead with 400 points. Lauren has 100 points. Taylor, not on the board yet. But we're going to speed things up next and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, where we're watching Gone with the Wind in the Florida Keys. <laughs> <laughs> Mandatory. Well, we have a great game. Daryl has got 400 points. Lauren has 100 points. And Taylor, not on the board yet. That could all change because it's time for a speed round, so get your buzzers out, contestants. I love this round. I am going to give you a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. If you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you're out until the next category. We have a lot of points up for grabs here, and a lot can happen in 90 seconds. So buckle up and get ready. Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock. Good luck, players. Your time starts now. This person is an actor, producer, and director. She played a young girl in Taxi Driver. She won an Oscar for Silence of the Lambs. Taylor. It, Time's up. Uh, she starred in the... Jody, Daryl. Jodie Foster. Yes. This Middle Eastern city is in the Sarawat Mountains. It was the birthplace of Muhammad, the founder of Islam. It is the third most populous city in Saudi Arabia. It is the holiest of all Muslim cities. Daryl. Dubai? No. Anyone else? Time's up. Mecca. Mecca. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this yeah, dish it. is yeah. a liquid food made with a popular fruit. It's low in calories and high in potassium and vitamin C. It is often served with a grilled cheese sandwich. Andy Ooh. Warhol. Daryl. Tomato soup. Yes. You'll often find these in a gym. It's a piece of exercise equipment that must be held to be used. Uh, Taylor. Barbells. No, they can be a fixed weight or adjustable. It is a type of free weight used in weight training. Anyone? Daryl. Bench? No. Lauren. Um, is it dumbbell? Yes, dumbbell. This person is a reality TV personality. She famously gave birth to sex tuplets in 2004. A reality show about her and her family aired for over 10 years. Uh, Lauren. Um, a K plus eight? Uh, nope. Okay. She competed on Dancing with the Stars and The Apprentice. Anyone? 
We're looking for Kate Gosling. This noisy bird is closely related to the crow, but not in color. It's a large songbird. Oh, hey. hey, that was a crazy round. Well done, Taylor and Lauren. You did well, but not enough to catch up with our champ, Daryl. Congrats, Daryl. You are going on to play our final round. Lauren, I loved having you. Taylor, I loved having you. We're not going to send you home empty-handed. So, Jamie, tell them what they've won. You've won a $250 gift card to a bed and breakfast of your choice from B&B Finder without all the fees. Book your next B&B or vacation rental at B&B Finder and save up to 20%. Say no to fees at bnbfinder.com. I hope you guys had a great time. We loved having you. And congrats, Daryl. You are moving on again to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotto. Mania, Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. Don't go anywhere. You want to see if Daryl's going to add another $5,000 to his winnings. We'll be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. The iconic Caesars Palace in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. This sprawling luxury resort puts you in the center of the action and nightlife. Win the rewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. I'm standing here with Daryl, who is about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Daryl, you've done it before. I think you're going to do it again. You've got our big super fan, Jonna, cheering you on. I'm cheering you on. And you know what to do. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing. We're going to add $5,000 to your already winnings of $5,000 and your trip. Ten grand and a trip, pretty great, right? I like that. I like I the like sound it. of it. And we can get our super fan $500, too. You ready? Yes. Daryl, your person is an actor. Your place is a venue, and your thing is a drink. Where would you like to start? Let's do person again. Okay, you're gonna start with your person category. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock, please. Well, 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 looks like the thirsty boy's back looking to drink in more win. <laughs> Good luck to you, Daryl. Thank you. Your time starts now. Are they alive? Yes. Um, are they over 50? Yes. Uh, were they, are they known for drama? Yes. Uh, clue. This actor has played characters like Nick Fury. Um, Samuel Jackson. Yes. Place is a venue. Uh, is it in New York? No. Is it in the US? Yes. Uh, is it on the West Coast? No. East of the Mississippi? Yes. Clue. This legendary Chicago baseball stadium. Oh, Wrigley Field. Okay, thing is a drink. Does it have alcohol in it? Yes. Um, is it rum? No. Uh, clue. This alcoholic spirit is traditionally associated with potatoes, but uh, it's vodka. Yes! Oh my goodness, congratulations, Daryl. You just got Samuel L. Jackson, Wrigley Field, vodka, <laughs> donut that feel real good. Okay. It, it does. You just won another $5,000, bringing your total winnings and cash and prizes to over $10,000. And you get to come back once again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Jonna, in Wichita, Kansas. You just won $500 for being our super fan. Thank you for being here. And thank you for being a substitute teacher. Okay, you know, you've been here quite a while. I want you to say the goodbyes. All Come on, Darren, right. try it out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time here on Person, Place, or Thing. Boom! <laughs> Did it. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.